I thought I was done with Toys R Us because I made my last video was a, uh, you know, my whole farewell to Toys R Us. Um, turns out Brittany and I went to dinner and we realized it was still open. Uh, I only had a couple days left of its sale, so we decided to stop by. So uh, I just want to go through with you and show you things that I got and what I paid for them. Okay, so first off, I got uh, Epsion. Es Espeon, Espeon, Pokemon plush, uh, Toys R Us exclusive, as you can see there in the corner. Um, it was marked down uh, fifteen dollars. It was marked down to three bucks. So I looked online and I noticed uh, a lot of these were selling on eBay for around thirty bucks or something like that. So I got to thinking. I'm like, maybe we should just get what's left because you know. It's a Toys R Us exclusive, you're not going to find these again, and maybe collectors would like them. So not only did I get one, I got two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And 14. We got 14 espions. Um, so hopefully I'm gonna sit on them a little while. I got a you know a couple posted on let go or uh, offer up, but um, I'm gonna sit on them a while. Let them get a little more rare since uh, Toys R Us. You know it's gone. You're not gonna be able to find this edition anywhere. So uh, we'll see what that goes for. Those are three bucks a piece. So three bucks a piece, you can do the math on those. Um, I also got um, some uh, Super Mario 3 teethers for babies. So, you know, who knows? Brittany and I might have kids one day, might want to keep one. Uh, they also make, they also would, they would make good coasters too. I mean, whatever. So I got these for um, four bucks a piece, which was a little too expensive, I thought. The thing is, toys, they didn't have any prices on anything, so you would just pretty much have to take it up to the front and figure it out. And there's a line, so whatever. I mean, I wouldn't have paid that much for them if I would have known, but they're marked down from nine. Then, I got a, <laughs> a Leafeon. This was the only other Pokemon of this uh, exclusive edition that was in there, so add that to the collection. Um, that was three bucks also. I got, which I was really excited about, the Metal Mario uh, Wii, Wired Wii U uh, fight pad, which is awesome. So what I'm guessing would happen with this, because, you know, all the, all the video game stuff, anything that was worth anything was gone, like the first day of the sale. I think this was one of those things that um, I just walked by at the right time, because, uh, I, they probably just found it in the back or on a box or just somewhere out of place and just kind of put it in the case and I just happened to walk by and saw it. It was marked down from $24.99 to uh, five bucks. It was five bucks for this. Five dollars and fifty nine cents. So that's awesome. That's an awesome deal. I'm, I'm glad I have that because I don't have any wired Wii U controllers. Well, these were rung up. Oh, the micro. I got these Zelda um, Wind Waker sets from the world of Nintendo. I don't know if you could see that. For some reason, there were still a bunch of these left. I mean, I got this one. I don't know which one this is, but um, for two thirty nine, I think I got this one for. Uh, then I got this one too. 
He's got a little link in there and a little boat. Um, I got this one for also two thirty nine. And then I got this one. Another little set. Uh, it's the Hyru Castle. A little piece of the Hyru Castle. Uh, is that Ganon? With a little Ganon in there. Um, for for one forty nine for this one. So. That's a pretty good deal. I mean, I don't know why they were still sitting there. Um, I don't know why I got this. A mad ball. It's a little monster ball for um, 60 cents for that. Then I got... I think this was on my other receipt that I don't know where it's at, but this Amiibo, all they had left was Mabel for some reason. This Amiibo, a bunch of them. I mean, the second time I went back, I mean, you saw my first video how many they had. I mean, there's probably half of that left from that video, but I mean, it was dirt cheap. I forget how much it was, but I had, had to pick one up, you know, why not? Um, then I got... I saw this randomly sitting there, a uh, zombie Maggie, which I thought was cool because I'm trying to collect, you know, I got some weird, some weird creatures back here and she'll fit, she'll fit right in to the weird, the weirdness. And I think that about does it guys. So, I mean, that's a pretty good haul. Uh, hopefully I can sell off these uh, Espeons and um, make my money back. Um, I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. I mean, Pokemon always keeps its value, and you know, just like video games or something like Toys R Us exclusives that they don't have anymore, especially since Toys R Us is going away completely. I think the uh, value of those will probably go up, and collectors, you know, will probably be looking for them. Um, you know, I got I got one on Let Go and Offer Up now for twenty bucks, and you know they were been selling for thirty or whatever, so. I'm trying to get people a good deal on them, but still make some money back. Um, because, I mean, I've never been a big Pokemon fan, so uh, they don't mean much to me. But, yeah, so I think it was a pretty good haul. So I just wanted to fill you guys in. And um, so now the store is officially closed for good. Um, so if any are still open near you and are going out of business, take advantage of it and get some deals. Um, definitely worth it. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.